What is up, people? Mr. Falior here bringing you another video. Welcome to the coin game. This is a video specifically to find the 20 loot boxes in the coin game. I know this can be frustrating for some people, especially if you don't understand um, there's that there's a glitch out there. If you log out of the game more than once, it will delete all other loot boxes in the game until you recreate a new save. So this video will show you all 20 locations that you must do within one game save without logging out. You can do this in birthday mode or survival mode. In this case, we are going to do this in birthday mode to make things easier to not have to worry about going home or anything like that. However, I would recommend finding these loot boxes if you start a survival mode because it will help you gain a little bit of extra cash on the side. Now, first things first, I would uh, really like you guys to help me out by liking this video and subscribing if you have not already. Um, I'm trying to gain as many subscribers of it as I can. Maybe one day eventually getting that silver subscriber play button. That would be amazing. Anyway, first things first, I recommend if you're doing it in birthday mode, turn it to day. Open up your, your watch and move this all the way to day. That way you can easily see what's going on. Second thing. Yes, you do have access to the golf cart. However, golf cart is already at 11 gas. So you will have to go to the gas station and fill it up with six gas tanks. And then I would recommend buying another five. In this video though, we are going to take the bike because this thing, that sucks a lot of gas really quickly. The bike doesn't require gas, so it's gonna make it go a lot faster overall even though the bike is technically slower and i already wiped out and hit a sign that's great um anyway we're heading over to the very first loot box so but yeah um if you do want to take the golf cart just know it takes about six gas cans to fill it up at the moment i would say if the developer is watching this please make the golf cart unlimited gas when in birthday mode doesn't really make sense to have it guzzle gas when you're trying to play an unlimited amount of, of stuff. You know what I mean? You don't really want to have to keep filling it up with gas whenever you want to go somewhere with the golf cart. Obviously, you can teleport um, places using the watch. However, if you want to take the golf cart, um, it would be nice if it was unlimited gas in birthday mode. So anyway, first place, first loot box. I'll show you where it is on the map. Right here is loot box number one. All you gotta do is click on it and it will give you three random prizes. These prizes are random every single time. Okay, back on the pathway from loot box number one we want to take the path this direction and we're going to be heading towards the fairgrounds as you can see the fairgrounds off in the distance we're headed right directly in that area however we will not be entering the fairgrounds we'll be going up past the fairgrounds a little bit to the side as we will be going on the bike trail off to the right over here. By the way, I will say um, there is a written guide for every one of these loot boxes and so if you would like to follow along with that guide or you just prefer a written guide rather than a video, I will leave a link in the description below. Anyway, it's right off to the side over here. Um, here's the location on the map for loot box number two. 
We'll open it like so. Now, from loot box number two, you want to continue down the bike trail. Loot box number three is actually pretty easy. Just follow the bike trail all the way down the water side. over this little bridge here up until you find a little campsite up ahead there's the little campsite the very first tree behind the campsite there it is loot box number three found on to loot crate number four back onto the trail we're going to go up over the pipe bridge thing try to maintain your speed so that it doesn't slow you down because it can slow you down quite a lot which can be a little bit annoying not gonna lie now this I recommend getting off your vehicle it doesn't matter what vehicle you're on I would highly recommend getting off your vehicle then press and hold shift to run and keep tapping spacebar to jump up here and keep jumping and here is loot crate number four I think I sh forgot to show where the map was at the uh, where I was at the time hold on let me get off my bike so the um, Campsite one was right around here. The one that I just did is right here. And now we are on to uh, crate number five, which is super easy. It's actually right around the corner, right around the bend over here. Take a quick trip through the grass. It's literally right here. Super, super easy. There's loot crate number five. Now, from this location, loot box number five, we will be heading out of the bike trail, head back towards the fair. You should be able to see the fair rides from the location of loot box number five. And we'll be heading all the way out, past all the cars, cross the road, and head towards the water area. Isn't that fun? Now this one, you should be able to see the loot box before the rock that it's around actually appears. You see it over there in the far straight ahead? Then the rock appears. So it's right around the corner of the rock. Boom. Another super easy one. From loot crate number six, we'll be heading straight up towards the first building that we see all the way off in the distance. It'll be near a tree behind that first building which is the hotel or motel um, area that currently at the time of filming is still closed and here we are right behind the Islandville motel this is loot crate number seven nice Okay, now on to the next loot box. Right around this area. By the way, when you're on your bike or whatever, um, you can press tab and you can still see um, approximately uh, where you want to go. Which we are heading in this area. We're going to find a rock formation past this tree. Oh, 
it is right around here. It should be around the corner. Yep, there it is. At this location. There's loot box number eight found. Okay, from this area, we want to go directly this way. Head towards the sand area. Cross the road. Go down the hill a little bit. And... Believe... It's right over... I don't think I passed it. Aha, right here. I just didn't see the rock formation. Loot crate number nine. From here, you want to make your way to UFO point. Not all the way, but close enough. So what I'm going to do is head up this hill over here. Follow the guardrail slash guide rail. And make my way over to this big rock right here. I'll be right on the other side. For the halfway point, loot box number 10. From here, we are going to make our way in this direction. Head towards the road. was close and we're gonna make our way towards these trees over here as you can see you can see it in the distance before the rocks load in there it is loot crate number 11 From this spot, we're going to try to follow the road as much as we can. I'm going to go this way a little bit. We're going to not actually go to the road, but close enough. We're just going to follow this direction all the way until we get to a rock. Right over there. Big rock right up ahead. Just check on the other side of it. Boom. Crate. Number 12. From this location, we're just going to turn right around. Head this way. We're going straight across the road. We're just going to look for another rock. Straight ahead. There it is. Crate number 13. From here, we're just going to go this way. Go past the first three buildings we see. Don't wipe out on the bike like that. Uh, Wow, this is shaky. Camera needs to not be this shaky. Holy cow. You might not want to actually take the bike, to be honest. It is... Until they come up with, like, a third-person camera, it might give you motion sickness, to be quite honest. Loop. From this location, we just want to go... This way, I'm stuck. 
If that happens, all you gotta do is... Okay, not bad. Get off your bike. You can just click it and drag it. Sometimes it just gets stuck. Figured I'd leave this in instead of re-recording re, uh, this part. Just in case um, you're curious how to unstick your bike. That's how. There is loot crate number 15. From here, you just want to turn right around if you can. If not, I recommend just picking up your bike and running and jumping until you make it over here. Makes it a little bit easier instead of waiting for your bike to actually speed up. Then you want to just take this road right over here to this rock formation where crate number 16 will be hiding. There goes my bike, okay. Boom. From this location, you just want to cross the street pretty much to these two houses, or our house and garage, I should say. And it's actually right here. There's crate number 17. Three more to go. From this location right here, you wanna make your way down to the road. That way it's less of a bumpy ride, too. And just follow this nice, smooth road. All the way down as much as you can until you see this little path to the right. And you want to just jump off the edge. Try not to go into the water. Go past this camping site. Go straight towards these big rocks over here. As you can see, chest number 18 awaits. From this location right here, we're going to start getting into some mountainous terrain. So I highly suggest you abandon your bike completely at this point. Because um, it's going to be a bit uh, difficult to ride your bike or even the golf cart through here. So I would totally just run on foot, hold shift, and keep pressing space bar when you need to, when you start slowing down so that you can start jumping over stuff. Make your way to this tree right over here. And there is chest number 19 this location specifically here it is time guys let's find crate number 20 head up this area now like I said before hold shift and just keep pressing spacebar over and over again. I promise it is so much faster than any other way. Now, you're going to make your way up here. Climb these mountainous areas. Even, even jump while you're heading down, too. As long as you're not in survival, because this would probably kill you if you're in survival. To jump, to make that big of a jump. Um... And now we're going to climb once again. Keep climbing and climbing. As you can see, chest number 20 right here. The moment of truth. Achievement unlocked. Treasure Hunter Legend. There we go, guys. I believe this is the very first video 
on how to get all 20 crates on the coin game. So please, if you appreciate this video, please take a moment to like this video. Leave a comment down below how well, how well I did on this video, how much this helped you out. And please, please, please subscribe. I have many, many other videos both of the coin game and many other games out there such as Stray, for example, one of the more recent games or even older games such as Fable or even Demolition Derby game I have on there, uh, among other things, Spyro being my most popular. But once again, please like this video, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys again next time. Maybe one day I'll get that silver subscribe button plaque. Maybe one day. See you next time. Bye.